بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My topic today is a short talk about the dilated perivascular spaces or also called vertebral urban spaces uh, perivascular spaces filled with interstitial fluid which surround the brain blood vessels leading from the subarachnoid space through the brain bronchima. They are similar signal intensity to CSF in all brain MRI sequences. And it is uncertain whether these vertebral spaces are cordial finding in, in neuroimaging or if they are linked to a specific neurological disease. The arterial and venous spaces, very vascular spaces, refer to space around the cerebral perforating visits from the subarachnoid to intra-barenchymal course, as we see here in this uh, drawing. And these spaces contain interstitial fluid, and it is involved in the clearance of fluid and metabolic waste from the brain. And they, these are the very vascular spaces considered a normal variant, and it is important to avoid categorizing them as a pathological finding, especially in elderly and hypertensive patients with small visual disease and lacuna infarction. As we said in the basic anatomy and location of perivascular space, as the artery perforating from the subarachnoid space and subbial space to the cortex and the enlarged, as we see here, the enlarged view and it is the this is the sub the perivascular space and this is the brain bronchima here and this is the subbial space and this is the perivascular space here and this is the perforating artery and here, this is coronal anatomic diagram showing multiple bilateral giant perivascular space in the meson, mesenthalamic, mesenkephalothalamic region with some compression on the third ventricle. And this dilatation allow the accumulation of interstitial fluid between the vessels and the bayer, causing enlargement of the perivascular space. The location around, the, as we said, in the basal ganglia and mesothalamic uh, meso Thalamic mesocephalothalamic region and in also in the cortex and around the leptomeningeal leaf. 
and uh, the MRI finding it is characteristic to CSF fluid. In T1, it is high bar intense. In T2, high bar intense. Diffusion, no diffusion restriction, no enhancement. And if they are high bar intense, important to distinguish them from the lacunar infarction. And if normally the size of vascular space, it is less than 2 millimeter. If it is uh, more than 2 millimeter, it is dilated. As we see here, this is the type 1 perivascular space in the course of the lento lenticular striate arteries entering the basal ganglia or, uh, through the anterior perforating substance. As we see dilated perivascular spaces in this T2 weighted image, and here, this is another example of also uh, with uh, type 1 of lenticular striate uh, perforators. Uh, as we see here, it is dilated, uh, uh, dilated with CSF uh, uh, int signal intensity in flare and T2. Here, uh, this is another patient with uh, also uh, multiple punctate uh, cystic uh, high bulb intensities seen in the T2 and in the basal ganglia and correspond to dilated perivascular space. Here, another patient with the same finding with dilated perivascular space in the region of the basal ganglia bilaterally. Here, type 2, it is accompanied with uh, perforating medullary arteries, as we see here in the cerebral cortex anteriorly due to dilated vascular space. Here another patient due to dilated vascular space and anteriorly and uh, <coughs> due to the, uh, accompanying the perforating medullary arteries as we see here and we see here and there. Here, this is uh, type 3, we find the mesenchephalon uh, uh, perforated uh, after its dilatation and in this type 3. As we see here in this left uh, uh, cerebral badankel. Another patient with uh, type 3 here, dilated perivascular space in the bilaterally, and, and here it is type 2 lenticular steriate arteries. Uh, here, the bilateral cerebral peduncles, and here type 2 in the brittle white matter. Here, this is a patient with the giant uh, t tumor effective perivascular space dilatation. And uh, the difference between tumor effective and uh, uh, the ordinary type of the perivascular space dilatation is accompanied with white matter abnormalities. Uh, <coughs> Especially seen in the T2 and white uh, and the flare images. Here, uh, this is a giant uh, tumor factor uh, dilatation perivascular space in the midbrain and thalamus, as we see here, and temporal lobe also. 
and it is CSF uh, signal intensity not enhanced and it is uh, the biopsy proven by aligned giant perivascular space. Here another patient with uh, tumor factive giant perivascular space with uh, subcortical white matter uh, extension as we see here. Here another patient with uh, perivascular space in the surrounding the corpusculosum and the sagittal view of this patient involving the corpusculosum. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.